and we're honored to have with us pitcher Dennis Lamp. Dennis, would you tell the fans in our area the year you broke into the majors and where you've been up to now? Uh, my first year in the big leagues was in 1977. I came up for the last month of the season and then um, was able to stay with the uh, Cub organization until 1980. In uh, 1981, I uh, was traded for Ken Kravick, and then I came over to the White Sox, and it was probably the biggest break of my career because I went to a team that um, wanted to win, and uh, they wanted to win right then and there, and it only took them a, cu a couple of years for them to uh, win the pennant, so it was a rewarding uh, trade in the, you know, for the aspect of uh, getting a chance more so to pitch and uh, to um, you know, establish myself as a big league pitcher. Uh, I'm sure the fans in our area would like to know you coming out of the National League into the American League, and in the American League the pitchers don't hit, and in the National League they do. And now that you've uh, had both ends of it, in your opinion, uh, what do you like the best? I like the DH. I think that the fans come out to see you know good baseball, and why should you take someone out that's pitching a great game? I think. In the National League, you know, you could see a Dwight Gooden or a Nolan Ryan the whole nine innings. And um, you know, that's how records are really broken, is by having um, the DH, I think. And it, it also helps the older players that are, you know, maybe something has come up where they maybe don't have as good an arm or, or, or that. And I think it, it, it lets the Carl Yastrzemski pay, play three or four more years where he can play every day based on the fact of the DH or a Greg Luzinski in Chicago. So I like it. I think the fans do want a lot of runs. I know it doesn't sound right for a pitcher to be saying, but they do. I think that that's just the way uh, baseball has gone on in the last uh, three or four years. Fans want to see a lot of uh, runs, and um, they're getting paid back for it, too. I think with our division and the, the talent that's here in our division, that's why it's so tough, because of the bench strength. And, you know, people that come off the bench can play every day, and um, it's really rewarding. I think more so to the fans than maybe even a pitcher or, or a DH because uh, they make baseball what it is today. One final question, uh, Dennis. Uh, the season isn't that old at the present time. You're only one game out of first place in the uh, AL East. Uh, in your opinion, you're, you're, I know you're going to be in the thick of it all the way. Uh, who do you think the strongest uh, contenders besides yourselves will be? Well, Detroit, based on their starting staff and their bullpen, they've um, proven that over the season last year. They were probably the most dominant team since the 1927 Yankees. Um, now that they haven't gone up to that 40-5 and five start, I think it brings everyone back to reality. So I think there's going to be five teams. Baltimore has gone out into the free agent market, something that they've never done before, and they've acquired three everyday players. And when you do that to a team that's been used to winning, uh, it gives them added incentive. And I think last year they had some key injuries, and now this year with the depth that they have, even with the injuries that they have, they're in first place. And um, also you got to think of uh, New York. I know that things aren't going that well, but now that they have Billy Martin and um, you know some of the, the players that they've acquired through trades, it seems like every time you look up, the other teams are making trades to improve. So you know last year we won 89 games. That might that might win the pennant this year. Uh, seeing that you brought that up, what do you think of the managerial change in New York? Well, it's, it's had mixed reviews, but I think that uh, they needed some uh, motivation, and they needed someone, I guess, to crack the whip. I didn't like to see Yogi go, because I think he did a good job last year, but it has to do with uh, what George Steinbrenner wants. And uh, in the market, New York market, you know, the Mets are taking all the headlines, and I think that George didn't want to be outdone. So um, that's what he's done now. He wants to bring the fans into Yankee Stadium. The Mets have an excellent ball club, and it's going to be hard for them to really win over the uh, fans in New York. But I think that um, you know the things he's done are, are more so to get the fan interest in New York towards the uh, Yankees. Well, Dennis, we want to thank you very much for being with us. We want to wish you continued success, and good luck to your ball club in 85. Well, thanks very much. It's nice to come back to Montreal, even though it is a... Pearson Cup game, but it's nice to come back. There's a lot of fond memories and some bad ones, you know, with the teams that they had three and four years ago. It, it was awful tough pitching here, but fans are good, and the, and the players that they have uh, are very good and improved, I think. Thank you very much. Good luck to you.